Hi everyone, this is Dave. Now I've talked to you about dash cams before in my videos and how they can potentially save you money on your car insurance premiums. In today's video, I'm gonna be taking a look at the Mio MyView C330. So this is the Mio MyView C330 and this is a tiny little dash cam. In fact, it's one of the smaller ones that I've seen over the years and it's really nicely designed. Here you can see where you will put the suction mount for mounting this to your car windscreen. This is the lens. This is a really wide angle lens as well. It's actually a 130 degree f2.0 lens. So you get a nice wide immersive view of the road in front of you. We've also got a speaker on the front here as well. If we go around to this side, here's a row of buttons that are used for either navigating through the menu system, which I'll show you in a short while, or indeed these are used for like capturing photos or for marking particular video recordings so they don't get overwritten. Now with a dash cam, you pop the memory card in, which actually goes into this side here, format the memory card. When you turn your ignition on, this actually starts recording straight away. And then whilst you drive, it does loop recording. So it will continue recording to the memory card until the memory card fills up. And then it will go back to the beginning and start overwriting files. Unless you've marked those files not to be overwritten. Or indeed, unless the system itself has marked those not to be overwritten. We've also got a mini USB socket just here. Inside the box, you do get a 12 volt vehicle accessory socket cable plugs into your 12 volt vehicle accessory socket and then the cable you sort of route round uh, sort of the headlining of your car and then plug it in to the tiny camera. Now let's turn this on. We've got to put some power to it. So I've got a uh, mini USB cable here and this will actually start the camera up. Now whilst this is starting, I'll just let you know that this weighs just 59.5 grams. It measures 62.2 by 51.2 by 37.4 millimetres and it's got a 2 inch 4.3 format screen on the back and it's capable of capturing up to 1080p video at 30 frames per second so that's pretty impressive and it also supports micro SD cards up to 128 gigabytes which I think is very good indeed. Now here you've seen it's gone into sort of recording mode. If you were driving, it would actually show your speed here as well. And it continually records and you can set the length of those recordings in the menu system. So let's show you that menu system now. So here's the main menu system. You can see it's still recording. We've also got some uh, icons down the side here. This relates to what the buttons do on the side of the device. So if I want to go into the menu, it's the top button. So let's select the menu. And here we've got various things that we can change. File playback. We've also got sound recording, safety cam settings, because this does have a safety cam feature as well, thanks to the built-in GPS and the database of those cameras. We've also got video recording settings where you change resolution, etc. In fact, let's pop into this particular menu and you can change the video clip length. And if we go into this menu as well, you can see here you can choose between one, three and five minutes. And this is the length of the video before it makes a new file. So it just makes it easier to manage your files. And then if we go further down into this menu, you can change the uh, WDR, the EV, the frequency, the sensor activity. And this is what automatically protects your files. So if the camera actually senses that you've had an impact, uh, then it will actually protect that file. We can also put speed, text and time and date stamps over the video, which is a very good idea indeed. It, increasingly, if you're going to use this in any evidence, perhaps on an insurance claim, then having the uh, speed stamp, text stamp and date and time stamp on there is a very, very good idea indeed. We've also got some system settings just here and also the ability to format the micro SD card. Now this doesn't come with a micro SD card in the box, so do pick up one of those if you're going to purchase one of these dash cams. It's very, very easy to set up and the video capture, the quality, is very good indeed. Let's take a closer look at the type of quality that the Mio MyView C330 actually records. So this gives you an idea of the audio recording of the Mio MyView. It's not its intended purpose, but it does give you an example of what the audio captured might sound like.
So I think this is a really great camera. I think the video recording quality is more than adequate. In fact, it's better than some dash cams that I've actually tested. The fact that this is ultra small as well and fully featured is a real plus point. This has got 1080p full HD recording in this tiny little camera. That in itself is really good. We've also got GPS tracking, which automatically records driving information, including speed, altitude, longitude, and latitude, and the direction you're heading. All of that information is really good info to have embedded into your video files. We've also got that three axis G sensor, which records direction and force and impact. So if you are involved in an accident, then it's going to actually protect that file, which can later be used in evidence. And I mentioned this during the intro to this video, but some insurance companies actually offer you a discount on your insurance premium if you have one of these little dash cams installed. And on top of that, it gives you peace of mind. that If something does happen and you're in the right, then you can prove it. This is the Mio MyView C330 dash cam. I'll leave a link to where you can pick up one of these for yourself down in the video description. I think it's a great little device and I can highly recommend it. Thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please do hit that like button. Please do subscribe and I'll see you in another one very soon.